edition of the Psychic, Spiritual and Wellness Online Expo. Oh my God, what a week. We have, I say that every time I come on, and you, you can see my voice is getting like uh, less and less, but that's okay because I'll be taking some rest days after tomorrow and re-healing my voice for, uh, for the next round. I don't know what that is or how it's coming down the wire, but I'm sure that the universe is going to provide. Today, we are speaking with Kathy Baker and um, just there we go, introducing Kathy Baker. She has soul healing with Kate and Kate is a, or Kathy, I'm going to call her Kathy because when I bring her into the, the show, her name will be Kathy. So the, her business is, our Kate, her business name is Kate. So Kathy helps post people with post-traumatic stress disorder and depression and it affects everybody differently. So what she does is she works out a tailored solution because a solution, one a one-size-fits-all solution does not fit everybody. She can put together a unique plan that you work through together to release and heal you on all levels, get you back to living life again and not just existing. How wonderful does that feel? It uh, depends on your level of stress and trauma and your level of participation because it is a journey that you'll go on together with Kathy. You can, uh, uh, this depends on that as to how quickly you regain your confidence and to regain your life. Welcome, Kathy. Hello. Welcome. Hi, hey. how are you? <laughs> I am, I'm going to say I am well because I'm actually, what I'm going to say is, Kathy, I am healing. <laughs> I am my body is in healing mode now it might not sound like it but I definitely know that there's some um so my body is working very hard to heal itself right now and I can trust that that will happen I'm giving it a little bit of a hand along with uh, uh some self-care which is uh, lemon juice garlic and ginger and honey so if I take a sip of this occasionally you'll know that that's going to help me heal quicker Kathy, tell us, but today is about you and the services you offer. Um, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Adair Palmer and I run MyTimeTV.live and we are having, like I said, the spiritual, uh, Psychic Spiritual and Wellness Online Expo this week. Kathy, can you share with us a bit about how you came to be doing uh, PTSD healing for people? Uh, it started off, I suppose, way back. I used to struggle with um, um, depression and stress. And I, at that stage, nobody seemed to understand or, or unless they wanted to highly medicate you, there was no other option. So I decided to do some courses um, and I did some theatre healing, which I find definitely helps with this. And I fine-tuned it. So I, I do theatre healing but also energy healing. And I'm unique because I'm an empath as well. So I feel what you do, but on the opposite side of the body. So if you're feeling pain, I feel it on the left, if yours is on the right. But I can also connect with you on a deeper level. So I'm seeing where your issues started from. So, Kathy, if I have a headache, do you feel it in your feet? Sorry, I'm being a bit flippant there. <laughs> no, I get it in my head as well. But if your, your head, um, your pain is like on the oh. right side, I'll feel it at the same part, but it's like the rest of the body seems to be on the opposite side. Okay, that's wonderful. We've got a few people join us today, so welcome. Please comment who you are and where you're from because we do love to have interaction and engagement from the audience. If you have any questions at all for Kathy, please ask her because I'm sure she would be welcome, uh, more than welcome and more than happy to, to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, not putting you on the spot at all, but I'm sure you can. Um, I did want to know a little bit about theta healing. Now, I'm, I've heard of it a couple of times and I'm reasonably new to this industry, the healing industry. So and I didn't realise there were so many modalities. So can you just share with us a little bit about what theta healing is? Theta healing takes you to that, um, that state. It's like you're meditative state so you're not really asleep and you're not fully awake so it takes you to that level where you can actually bypass your normal head talk so it, it cuts out the things that you would normally block it's on the the beta uh, wavelength the the theta beta wavelength yes 
It's a bit of both. Oh, okay, so and again, that's something that is outside the scope of my understanding and what I what I know and what I've studied. I've studied hypnotherapy and a master practitioner NLP, but this this is another modality again that does help. And uh, and I think all of these um, modalities. And what I've found, Kathy, is a lot of the healers that I've been talking to over the past week and before that, before we actually went live with the online expo, is that they use several different modalities and I understand that you do as well. So um, is, is being an empath, is that a modality or is that just who you are? How does that work? An empath is somebody that feels or is very sensitive and I found that growing up it was, I used to always look at it as something negative because if, if someone was feeling down and out, I would feel it too. Or if someone's feeling sad, I would be on the same level as them. And people would say, you know, just get over it. But it's not something you can just get over because you're feeling what they do. So it's a, you need to find a way that you can disconnect yourself afterwards. Otherwise, you're taking on everybody's different energies and illnesses that you've been dealing with. So you need to find a way at the end of the day to release all of that. You know, when I was putting together this show for you, Kathy, and I was thinking about when you said you're an empath and you talk, dealt with post-traumatic stress disorder, I had a, 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 an experience when I, in my last corporate job which was quite unpleasant and it went on for a number of years and I ended up having um, anxiety um, attacks. Uh, the doctor said it was asthma. Eliza's here too. Hello, darling. How are you? Good to see you. And I can't see who else is here. Megan is here with us as well and so is Kathy. Hello, if you're watching us, just shout out who you are and where you're watching from. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. So, and I didn't want to make this about me, but I'm sure my story would be able to help some people perhaps. So what, what happened was when I left that position um, in a, a toxic work environment, uh, I, I, the doctor diagnosed me with asthma and I said, well, I'll grow out of it. And she said, no, you have to manage it. <laughs> and I didn't actually realise that uh, I was in a state of having post-traumatic stress disorder. And I think I was, it hasn't been ever formally diagnosed, but I actually believe that what it was was, was things like um, uh, panic attacks. And I, it got so bad at one point when I, would, I couldn't go into shopping centres. Now, this is where I wanted to relate to perhaps that, that empath type um, and being sensitive because I would feel the negative energy that people would walk around with in shopping centres and it actually physically felt like people were using me as a dartboard. Yes. And it got so painful that I actually passed out one day when I was in the shopping centre. So I used to do most of my shopping online, but for some reason I was getting my nails done and uh, and I actually, like, it just sort of overcame me and I was actually talking to Wayne at the time on the phone and I just blacked out. And and that I think in terms of that, that was a really... I, I suppose I'd left government. I'd been out of that environment for probably about a year maybe or just about a year and it was probably the turning point for me because there was a long, a long, slow climb out of it. So just your observations. I'm not asking for a counselling session, but I just thought I'd share that because you might be able to shed some understanding or some, um, hi, Katarina. How are you doing, love? Good to see you here. I think Katarina has been commenting as My Time TV. I'm not quite sure. But uh, if you are commenting as My Time TV, come, go back and change to yourself. We would love to see who you are, your beautiful selves. So, and let us know where you're um, tuning in from. So, Kathy, did you have any comment about that? Yes. Um... With the anxiety, I, I found that when I was pregnant with both of my children, it was heightened. So a bit like you, when you were going shopping, I used to be outside and have to knock on the window and get them to come out and serve me out in the footpath because I just couldn't go into certain shops um, mm -hmm. and the energy from that. So I had to find a way to be able to, uh, to change that, to be able to find a way where I can connect with people when I needed to, but also to claim my own space back. 
I've got some someone saying Kathy doing a great job. Let me Thank see you. who that is. Who's commenting? I can't see who's commenting. I think it is Katarina or somebody who's commenting as My Time TV. We do have a lot of contributors here on My Time TV and the list is growing as people join Code Breakers and actually become uh, live contributors and have their own programs. And it's it's Roy. <laughs> Roy has found Thanks, you. Roy. Thank you, Roy, for joining us. And that's fantastic. So, and, and I guess that, that whole thing was um, for, for, for you when you were pregnant and you were saying that you could you had to find your way through it or out of yeah. it. So what sort of things did you do? Does that, let me just go back a step. Did that help you? Did that help you become the person and the healer that you are today? It put that me on the searching to search for a way to heal this naturally. Um, mm -hmm. to be able to connect with other people. And that's where I found the theatre healing uh, because before that, nobody seemed to understand. It was always like, you know, as you understand, being an empath, you feel all the pain of other people. And so therefore you're harbouring that, you're taking it on board as though it's your own because at that stage you, I didn't understand what it was. And um, people just saying, well, get over it. It just doesn't happen that way. So with yeah. theatre healing, it is... It teaches you, it's, it's, I suppose you could say it's like an onion, peeling away the different layers. So everybody's yeah. got stress at a different level and what they're going through. So it's taking it away on a, a level that you can cope with. If you're taking away too much, it's, it can be fright, just as frightening taking away too much too quickly as yeah. it can be um, just to deal with it fully. I think that's a really valid point too because I've, I did a lot of healing with the Shanti Mission which were fantastic and much needed at the time and the lovely Kiri Devi um, who I'd met through Meetup, you know, a few years earlier had mentioned this Shanti Mission and I had no idea what she was talking about or I just knew that I had to go and this was, again, a bit further down the track and part of the healing and it took some time to be able to, like you said, peel the layers away of the onion. And we are, um, do you think it's because we're conditioned and we're holding so tightly to those beliefs that uh, that don't serve us any longer, that uh, that we we actually need to start to, to loosen them up a bit before? Um, yes, and a lot of people don't realise how much of that stress that they're harbouring, you know, because, yeah. you know, different jobs, different um um, family members, some family members don't always agree with what you're doing or the type of healing that you're doing, you know, the old-fashioned ones. It's a bit like, well, you know, unless they're taking a tablet for something, they're not healing from it. Well, I did that too. Roy is saying just get over it never happens. It absolutely doesn't. And I know after I went through some quite cathartic healing with Shanti Mission, I thought, whoa, that's it. And then you come up against the next level block and the next level block they're actually you can move through them a lot faster as you develop yeah. your self-awareness, I think. But, uh, Roy, that's absolutely correct. Just get over it. Never happens because we will learn and will continue to develop and grow until we die, I believe. So so tell me, Kathy, how did you get to be a PTSD specialist? Because you're the first one I've met with this. Okay, so I've done the Theta Healing courses and it teaches you how to use this in different ways. And mm -hmm. I found that it works with PTSD um, mm -hmm. to do with also trauma, stress, people that's um, have been in different accidents. So it could be a plane crash. It can be someone that's um, like the uh, people in the army, things like that, that have got that sort of trauma. So I actually mm -hmm. take them back safely to where the issue started from. And sometimes it can also be past life issues as well. So you take them back to where the issue started from, where they can deal with it safely. So it's connecting with them. They can see it, but as a third person, as not as they're reliving, because that can be too painful, too too traumatic for them. Yeah. So it's getting them to see it as a third person and to be okay. able to release all the effects of that. So it's released on physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels as well. So otherwise, if you're just taking off one layer, you're still hanging on to it on all the others. Yes, yes. And and as you said, that's a process that happens over time. It's not something that is um, sometimes it can be quite cathartic, but it does take a while to 
and I know it did for me to actually get to a point where I could release a whole heap of shit yeah. <laughs> at, at one point. And I clearly remember that moment in a, in a workshop in, uh, with Shanti Mission going, that was, that was great. But you run workshops too, don't you, Kathy? That's starting to, people. yes. So, so let's just have a bit of a conversation about the sorts of things that happen at your workshop. Katarina is saying many, many layers to unravel. Yes, absolutely. So share a little bit about what's happening with your workshop and what, uh, what you go through. Okay, so the workshop is giving people different tools that they can use, um, how to deal with it, you know, what's happening, to know that everybody is different. Don't judge yourself by somebody else. Somebody else might be able to get through their stress and trauma is a lot easier, but their level of trauma, their level of trauma may not be as deep as yours. Um, also, different tools, um, exercise, and I don't necessarily mean going to the gym. It could be just starting a vegetable garden or a herb garden. It could be going for a walk. There are some people that are so stressed can't leave their home. So mm -hmm. I can connect with people over the phone and the healing is done at the same levels that would be in person, just that some people don't like to, to mix with public at the moment. So I think said, that it's been on their level of trauma. I have a member of the family, a family member who's very close, um, and actually um, lives with us. Who is in? He just he, he just doesn't come in, out of his room. Um, he's been re, uh, recently diagnosed on the spectrum with autism, and he's in his thirties. Which is, you know, is there anything that you could do to help? Um, it's not something I specialise in. There are other things that also help with this sort of thing so it can be um acupuncture also helps okay. um, diet also helps there is um, some youtube videos with uh, i think it's called aja um healing ancestral healing which will actually give people different diets for different ailments oh okay for that. so what, hang on i'm just going to write that down so what is that a aja ancestral healing and AJ, AJ, A, and Ancestral Healing. YouTube videos for, so what did you call it, diet for different ailments? Yes, so if you just click in onto that and then put in what it is you're looking for, it'll come up with healthy foods that will actually help with that. Okay, so just check so It's out. all natural, there's no, no drugs, it's all just fruits, vegetables, that type of thing. Different so herbs. I think that in. I am multitasking <laughs> today. I'm actually mm. trying not to cough. And I'm feeling if I do drop myself out, you can just keep talking and I'll just have a little coughing fit and then I'll come back. I might go over there today and say, my ailment is man flu because I'm whinging like a bitch about it. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm doing, like I said, self-care, self-care and I'm healing. So, Katarina... I should have given like you a quick healing you. beforehand. Pardon? I should have given you a quick healing beforehand. <laughs> I'm open to all healing, I tell you. I totally am. Um, so, Katarina would like to know how long you've been doing this. Um, around about well, post-traumatic stress disorder, probably the last few years. Um, but all, all other sorts of um, working with post uh, sorry with um, theta healing, I've been doing that for probably 15 years now. Okay, okay. So, have you found that it has been coming becoming more and more mainstream? Yes, there's a lot more people dealing with post traumatic stress that they find that they can't work anymore because they've got that, and that affects the whole family. Um, yeah. They also feel that everybody judges them, so they're not seeing things the way that they actually are. So it's getting them to understand that as well. And do you find that, uh, oh, Charlene's here. Hello, darling. And Michelle's here. Michelle's saying hello. Good to see you, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. That is awesome. Thank you for joining us. This is it's really cool. Listening to my croaky voice and Kathy's wisdom. We're, <laughs> we're speaking about Kathy's superpowers, helping people with PTSD and depression and also using the theta healing for that. Kathy is also an empath and so she feels your pain, which is um, 
which I think, um, I actually think that that's probably a, a not being it's someone, it, it's not so good for the empath, but I think for the person that's being treated, it's uh, it I would be a little bit comforting, I would imagine. Because if I'm working with someone and they've got post-traumatic stress really bad and you're asking them how they're feeling or how they're coping, a lot of times <laughs> you'll find that it's blank. It's like, well, I can't put it into words. I don't know. So it's like... <laughs> Um, connecting with them so you're actually seeing and feeling what they, they're they blocking because yeah. a lot of times it's so painful for them that they just block it out. So you can say, so you can say, is this how you're feeling because you're getting yeah. that feeling and they're going, yes, you're right, how did you know? Is that the sort of yes. thing that... Yes, that's right. That's, that is so... Uh, such a valuable thing to have, and like like you said, it, it's probably in the past before you understood it properly, it uh, it would seem like a curse, but now it's a blessing, and you've actually used that gift to help other people, which is just brilliant. Um, uh, so, and Aiden's here as well. Hello, Aiden. Just let us know where Hi, you're Aiden. tuning in for. And darling, Charlene is saying you sound sexy. I tell you what, hun, I do not feel it. <laughs> I don't feel it. Michelle waves. I'm not quite sure what Michelle means by waves, whether waves or um, whether she is hearing waves. I don't know, not quite sure. So if anybody has any questions for Kathy, please ask. Any questions at all, please ask. I'm putting Kathy on the spot here, but I'm sure that you will be able to answer them. Whatever questions come up will be the right ones. So and also invite your friends. Let's make a party here on My Time TV. Invite your friends and share this broadcast, which is fantastic. So this is Kathy's first time on uh, live. Is it your first time live? I thought we'd had live conversations before. Was that by Zoom? Your Zoom. I haven't okay. done any live before because I'm not good with, well, haven't been good <laughs> with computers. You are learning computers, just like yes. I'm here. <laughs> we I've done one two-minute live one with Katerina, but that was at one of the fairs. But yep. that, uh, that was it. Yep. So, so now starts your journey. So this is a momentous occasion, folks. Just watch this space because Kathy is out of the gate and she will be – this is a great medium for us to use the mediums that we use to help people. And um, – Katarina is saying, doing a great job. Yes, you are. This is fantastic. Thank you. Ah, oh, Charlene, theta waves. Yes, we had a conversation about the theta waves and how they get you into a state between your conscious and your unconscious. Is that, uh, did I hear you correctly when you said that? Because I don't know a lot about it. As it goes a little bit more in depth than that, but um, I'll leave it at that for now. Okay, so Aidan's coming in from uh, Orange, New South Wales while writing his essay. Thank you for joining us, Aidan. <laughs> Famous now, you'll be everywhere now. I reckon that's Roy. And Michelle was just waving. Thank you and a wave back to you, Michelle. Thank you for joining us, everybody. So, Kathy, did you have uh, anything else that you'd like to share? We Again, we, um, we started to talk about your workshop, your retreat that's in... Mill. I've got a retreat happening in October, the, starting October, October the 26th. Yeah, um, let me find that. Keep talking. Sunray, Sunraysia Resort. Okay, so let's go. And what sort of things can people expect when they come to your retreat? Uh, the retreat, the, one of the workshops is to do with herbs and how that can help you with natural healing. I'm also doing one on essential oils and healing. So how that could be used in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the other day, it said one of the third workshops is to do with um, energy healing. So how that can be used for healing your body, also protection, things like that. And how to protect yourself from other people's negativity. Okay. And you're running these all, um, I was going to say all by yourself. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Except for the herbs, I'm doing the other workshops myself. There uh -huh. is also included um, your choice of either an air massage or an air treatment and half an hour of Reiki or a reading is included in that. 
And if anybody else is interested, we can do some other um, uh, other things as well at the retreat because there's extra days available. Because I see it's from the 26th to the 30th of October. We're getting lots of hearts there as well. So thank you, people. We love the hearts. It's my first one. Please share it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've just popped it in the link below, and uh, we'll also we'll also put it in the comments above there, so people will know. I just you can see it's just popped up here as an event link, but we can edit that and put some more details in it when we finish the conversation here today. So that um, that is awesome. So apart from the retreat, Kathy, where can people find you? At the moment, I'm going to be working from Marion just behind the Park Home Shopping Centre on Wednesdays and I'm also looking for somewhere else to work from um, where I was working from before the gentleman has passed away um, and he was only renting the space so at the moment I'm looking for somewhere else I'm trying to get into the Goodwood Hub and at the moment I need somebody to share with but um, haven't found anybody as yet okay so um and Michelle's saying energy healing, nice. So that might be a, a good, um, click, click on the events link down there and go and have a look. And it actually looks like a beautiful place to uh, to get all that information into you and to be healed and have massages and and just just generally give yourself some time out. So now, Kathy, if there's any, anybody watching this who does, who is on that side of town, so you're on the east-west side of town, I gather. Um, I live out towards Tea Tree Plaza, so I'm trying to decide whether to work from home as well. Oh, um, yeah. Or, <laughs> yes, or whether to, you know, just find somewhere else to work from. So I'm sort of at the moment up in, up in the air as to where to work from this side of town. There are yeah. a lot of people that do readings and yes. I'm finding at the moment it's going to be more of the healing side of things more so than the readings. Okay, okay, cool. Because I've got, um, I did have a, 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 a practitioner, a practice room or a clinic at the front of my house until my nephew moved in and uh, his need was greater than mine, obviously, so I've moved all mine onto online. <laughs> um, so what I do. But uh, Kathy, if, uh, if anybody hears here who is interested in talking to Kathy about some uh, co-working space, I'm sure the universe will deliver the right people at the right time and the right resources to you. Uh, there is a girl I can put you in touch with who does work with practitioners who work from home. She's a gorgeous girl. She actually helped me last Wednesday to make a peanut for on my community TV with a dare show. We made one. I felt like getting all crafty. It's as crafty as I've gotten since <laughs> sounds dodgy. As crafty as I've gotten since I was about, you know, like twelve. But uh, we made a peanut out of two tennis balls and a sock and I now use that when I'm, you know, got a bit of a sore back from sitting for too long and because she's a bone therapist. So uh, we had some fun. But she also works with people who work from home-based businesses to help them decide and, and to put things in place to, to help them work from home. So I'll put you in touch with her and okay. you can have a chat and see and, and she might be able to help you make a decision about what you're going to do. But just trust the right thing is going to come along at the right time. It might be all online. Who knows? Because you're learning this stuff and you're just yes. getting a handle on it. Every step you take is a step forward that you can use these resources that we have on our, fin at our fingertips to help more people. So, Kathy, are there any final words that you have to say? Is there anybody that's got any questions that they want to ask? So we are, we've, we've got about one minute left. So if you did have a question for Kathy, it's got to be a quick one. Um, otherwise, we'll wind it up. What we'll do, Kathy, is we'll put the link to your page uh, in the body of the post here. And people can click on Messenger, go to your page, click message, send a message, and perhaps ask you um, about your healing and where you can how you can help them if they're interested and also the events uh, is down okay. here as well the so. only people that i feel that i can't help are the ones that are heavy heavily medicated because they oh, can't participate 
That is a really, really good point because uh, when I did my training, and I'm sure all of the responsible practitioners would do, would do the same, responsible trainers would say, if you are on a medication, then uh, you would need to get a referral for you, from your doctor. But as you said, if people are being medicated or if you've got a um, psychologist working with a psychologist as well, I think there's uh, there's value in getting referrals, people getting referrals. So, Charlene, thanks for the link. Yeah. If they can reduce their medication um, yes. with, with the doctor's help, then yes, I can help them afterwards. But they need to be able to participate because if they're zonked out too much, then yes. they're not able to participate, and that's the reason. And that's uh, and they have to be responsible for their own healing. I do understand. Yeah. That, so. Kathy, it has been an absolute pleasure and a delight. We did have a few little hiccups getting you on here, but we made it. Woohoo! At last, yeah. yes. Let's do it again. <laughs> Talk about fine lines. I'll tell you what, it's just, uh, I love this because this is technology at its best and we're all working. Uh, Charlene's saying there's a heavy use of green tea count. That's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Katarina, thanks, Kathy. Very informative. Good luck with your event. Thank event. You. And uh, thank you all for joining us. And, Kathy, don't go anywhere. I'll just talk to you in a moment. That was Kathy Baker uh, from Kate's uh, Soul Healing with Kate, who is able to help you with PTSD uh, through Theta Healing. She's got an event coming up in October. If you're interested in that, click on the link below that says events. And if you would like to contact or connect with Kate in any way, I will have a link up here with Kate's um, Facebook business page, just send her a message through the page. I'm Adair Palmer and we're coming to the close of the Spir uh, Psychic, Spiritual and Wellness Online Expo Week tomorrow. We're winding it up, but I'm sure there's going to be some more amazing stuff grow out of this, um, this what's happened. So thank you, Charlene, for joining us. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody, Michelle, Katarina, and Roy, everybody who's joined us, if I've missed anyone, Aidan, thank you very much for joining, joining us today and I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Adair Palmer. Bye for now. <laughs>